What's going on guys? It's Tony here from Raldo's Details and today I'm here with Chris. Yep, from Vero's. How from you doing? Viros. And we are here at Car Supplies Warehouse at the base in Chicago. So if you guys know, this is the place for you to be. Like if you're a car enthusiast, make sure to come and visit them in order to take care of your vehicle the right way. All right guys, so we are gonna be talking a little bit about some products, but I wanna right. ask you first, you know, like uh, who you are and how sure. you came out with this line of products. So my name is Chris Jankowski from Vero's Premium Car Care. Um, we're about two years old now. Okay. So I've got 22 years experience as an auto detailer and created a line of products that um, I'm not gonna say that there wasn't anything good out there. I really, really hate that phrase. Like, oh, there was nothing good out there. So I had to create my own. That, there's a lot of good stuff out there, right? Gotcha. Yeah. Um, but what I wanted to create was things that were a little bit different in each individual category. So okay. um, if anybody's seen our videos about gel wheel cleaner and the differences and so, with this product itself, yes, it's a waterless wash, but I wanted to create something that, if you're gonna wipe the car down anyway, we might as well add some protection, right? Or, or we might as well top the coating that's already on the car. And so, what the product actually does is it cleans, adds gloss and slickness, and it also adds about three months of actual SiO2 protection. Okay. And so, it's kind of an all-in-one combo type product, so you can get all your cleaning and protection done in one step. Oh, nice, nice. So with that being said, uh, pretty much uh, what we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna be testing out this product. I mean, not testing, like he's gonna be teaching me and teaching you guys as well, you know, <laughs> the proper way to use it. And we're gonna, like as well, you know, we're gonna be uh, finding out, you know, the benefits of using, when to use it and all that type of stuff. Uh, we're gonna be using this beautiful car as an example. Mm -hmm. And thanks Alex from Legit Streets, if I'm not wrong. Something yeah, like that. Legit street yeah. cars. Legit <laughs> street cars, yeah. yeah. So for letting us use, you know, his car, you know, for this guinea pig. He's a yeah. guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> for this this demonstration. So all right, uh, let's uh, get started. Um, why and when uh, can you use this product? So I think to the why, this is a a product that not a lot of people understand, right? There's mm -hmm. a stigma that comes with it. Um, there's people that say it absolutely won't scratch no matter how dirty your vehicle is, right? Mm -hmm. That's incorrect. So you've never seen this product before, right? Not. Okay. Do me a favor and read the first line in the directions. What's the first line say? There is times and place where waterless wash. Right, so the very first thing says there's a time and a place it's to time use and waterless a place wash. To use right? waterless wash, right. yes. So in this particular scenario, normally we wouldn't clean a vehicle that's this dirty. Okay. So and you've got some shots of this and, and you know, look behind the tires and this this car needs a traditional wash. Oh, right? okay. There are some scenarios where people don't have access to water. They live in an apartment, they live close to the beach, whatever it is that they can either go to the car wash, which they don't prefer to do, or their other option is to waterless wash. Okay. So as far as is when you would do the waterless wash, we would like to teach that when it's the proper time. If it's completely filthy and it really needs to be a traditional wash, then we suggest to use our wash mitts and use our soaps and, and do that properly, right? Okay. You know, two bucket wash method, all the things to not mar the paint. Um, as far as like, why would you use a waterless wash? You use that again, like I said, if you're in an area that there's limited, uh, like you don't want any water runoff, you don't have access to water, you're in the middle of a car show and you don't have any hoses and you want to get your vehicle clean from the drive over there, mm -hmm. you want to remove some bugs, you just washed your car on Friday and drove it once, but now it's Sunday and you're going to take it out again, but it doesn't yeah. really need a full on wash, it just kind of okay. needs to be cleaned up. So there's a lot of reasons why you would use it and when you would use it. Uh, we just want to really, really instill that we're not suggesting to use waterless wash on cars that are filthy. Mm -hmm. Although we'll show some demos today that the product can actually handle this level of dirt. Okay. And it's not anything that's past what the product can handle. We just want to be upfront and honest with people and suggest that if you don't want any marring at all, if the car is filthy, then this probably wouldn't be the best time to do it, but the product can handle it. And that's the best part, guys, like to have companies like, you know, you're the owner. Right and be transparent with, you know, with the people that is buying the product right. and kind of teaching as well, you know, when to do it, like, and all that type of stuff. So I think that's kind of nice from you. Yeah. And, and that's what yeah. as well, you know, just, like in my channel, I like to teach that, you know, to everyone. So right. we want to like close the gap a little bit between 
the misunderstandings of waterless wash. And we want people to thoroughly understand it. Like, oh, that's how it works. And this is when I should use it. And this, this is an option that's available to me if this, you know? Mm -hmm. So a lot of people don't know the difference between a quick detailer and a waterless wash. If a quick detailer can clean just as good as a waterless wash can clean. If one is safer than the other, are they both the same thing? So we hope to try and clear up that confusion a little bit in the markets okay. where people have a thorough understanding of when you use a waterless wash, and once you've decided that it is time to use a waterless wash, what are the different methods that you can do it and what's the safest way to get the vehicle clean without scratching the car? Okay, cool. So thanks for all that, yeah, no you problem. know, the explanation. And But I have one more question. Bureaus, what Bureaus means? So Bureaus is the name of the company that um, literally I sat down on the couch and said, what am I going to name this company? And th I kid you not, three seconds later, that popped into my head. Right. Okay. So, of course, it's just a contender at that point in time. So then I Googled it and one of the results that came back was was upfront, truthful and honest. Oh, and I'm like, there's nice. no way that that's what that means. So <laughs> but sure enough. So it's out there on the Internet. You know, okay. the, the meaning of Vero's is upfront, truthful and honest. And nice. so I thought if I'm going to be a product brand mm -hmm. and I want to be upfront, truthful and honest. So same thing. You know, there's a perfect example right on the back of the bottle. There's yeah. a time and a place for a lot of this. That's wash. right. Yeah. So That's... versus a versus a, a marketing that would say it doesn't matter how dirty it is, absolutely won't scratch, no. all these different things. So anything that you get from us is always going to be safe, efficient, and we're going to be honest about the product and the That's way that great. it works. Yep. I like so. that. <laughs> Thanks. So. Thanks for that. Uh, so now let's uh, let's put this product, you know, to the test and show people, you know, yeah. when to use it, when not to use it, like. Hands on. Right. So let's right. do it. No problem. Right, so let's my question here is we have two bottles here. As you guys can see, this is already pre diluted. Uh, right. This one here is concentrate. And behind, you know, cameras, we was talking because I need to learn before I start talking, you know? Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> but, anyways, um, this one here is concentrate. And he was explaining to me that it's not a great idea to use it straight. So the best way is diluting it. Yeah. And what is like the dilution ratio? So, and again, the reason for the dilution is we're trying to give people value. We're trying mm -hmm. to, so, so one of these will actually make two of these. So we're trying to give people value. And then also mm -hmm. we have a lot of customers that are professional detailers. So they're using this on a commercial level and they like to buy things in bulk. They like to dilute their products. And so to stay right, as far as our pricing goes, we're giving them a concentrated formula mm -hmm. that they can dilute. And also it's kind of a personal preference thing. Like some guys like to use it straight. Some guys like to use it 50-50. On glass, people use it 90% water, 10% chemical it has all these different dilutions that it performs at so it's really like this, this multiple items built into one item so okay. you can use it for multiple different things you can clean your wheels with it you can clean your door jams with it you can clean glass with it you can wipe your interior down with it you can clean your touch screen with it you can do all these different things okay. depending on your performance that you want out of it in the dilution ratio okay so but if you're going to use it astray is like you you was explaining to me that it's better if you guys use it on the interior right like, like yeah indoor. so if you Not use it indoors or in a controlled environment, controlled environment. it's going to be a lot better than if you use it in 100 degree sunlight because there's things inside of here that are the waterless wash part of it. And there's things in inside of here that are the actual SiO2 mm -hmm. protection part of it, right? Okay. And when those things can stay together and one of them is not evaporating off prematurely, the product gets along better with being able to polish it out and remove it, right? Okay. So it's something that if you're in a controlled environment, the product, no, no part of that product is prematurely evaporating. So in, in a 150 degree, 170 degree surface in 100 degree weather, you're gonna have the things in here that allow you to flip the towel over and polish it out at full strength are gonna evaporate prematurely and that's gonna cause streaking, which you don't want, right? All so right. if you're gonna use it in the direct sunlight, just run it at like 50-50 and you'll have no problems at all, no streaks, you'll still get the same look, the same performance. But the only reason you would ever run it full strength is if, if you wanted more protection, if you wanted yeah. more of the oh, SiO2 okay. to go onto the paint. But mostly everybody in the country is running it at like 50-50. Okay, cool. Good to know. Yeah. <laughs> so now, but what we're going to be using now is we're going to be using a bucket. Right. So, right. so we're going to kind of have this bucket. We already fill it up. We already put some of the product in there. And yes, please teach us how to do it. Sure. Because no problem. I always do the traditional wash. So yeah. I'm not a, like, I don't do this since, you know, my business is, sure. you know. So like, yeah, I'd say like way. the back of the car is the worst. So let's head to the back of the car okay. and we'll do a demo using the bucket. Okay. Just showcasing the 
possibilities of waterless wash, just, okay. just what the waterless wash can handle. And I think when we look at the back and that shows up on camera, you'll really be able to see like, man, that's really, really dirty. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you how to get a streak-free finish mm -hmm. with using it in the bucket, right? Okay. So let's head back there. All right, let's do it. Follow us. So again, we always want to practice like proper detailing techniques, right? Okay. So should we ever use waterless wash on a car that's, that is this dirty? No, absolutely not. I don't suggest it, right? Okay. Rinse this off, use a pre-cleaner on it, foam it with the foam gun. Like if you're concerned about marring and proper detailing techniques, this would not be the way. Okay. We would, we would suggest that you do this and then maybe use the waterless wash as a drying aid. If you want to add some slickness and gloss and protection, you can do that in your drying process, which we'll talk about a little bit in this video. Okay. So just for capability purposes, okay. we'll do it on the glass only so we don't mar any paint. All right. And we're going to show you just what it can handle. Okay. So just so people understand what the product is capable of. All right. Let's do it. So one of the methods of using it, you got two different methods. You can use it in the bucket and you can also use it as a spray, um, depending on what workload you have, like sometimes we'll get a job that is 75 cars and they all need to be wiped down, right? Well, I don't want to spray, 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 spray 75 cars. I want to take my bucket with me, wipe the cars down, grab a second towel and dry it off. Okay. So I'll show you how that works right all here. Right. So if you can see the level of dirt here. Yep. And you just want to encapsulate that dirt and remove it. And you always want to kind of tweak your performance. Like you see the amount of dirt oh, actually wow. coming off the paint. So you always want to tweak your towel and depending on the performance that you're looking for, right? So this okay. is a very, very important segment of using waterless wash. If I'm using waterless wash and it's 30 degrees outside, then I'm not going to want to have a lot of moisture on my towel because it's going to take forever to dry off in 30 okay. degrees, right? If it doesn't freeze, right? So depending on it, the weather outside, I tweak my water to wash method depending on what the environment is that I'm working in. So if it's 105 degrees outside, I'm going to bring up a whole bunch of water. If I've got a whole bunch of dirt that I need to get off, say if it's a show that I'm doing and mm -hmm. the car just came off a racetrack and I got to get it clean, I've got five minutes to do it. I'm going to bring up a whole bunch of water because it's so hot on the surface. I don't want this to evaporate before I can take my second towel and dry it off. Okay. Right? In a situation like this, we're in an air conditioned building. So this is too much water, right? If you leave that much water behind, when you go to remove it, your second towel, which is supposed to be your finishing towel, mm -hmm. is gonna get so damp so quick that it's gonna start to stop performing and then you'd be flying through finishing towels, right? Gotcha. So a little trick for that is we've already removed the dirt, like you can tell the glass is clean, mm -hmm. but I don't wanna take all of that moisture and put it in my finishing towel and then ask my finishing towel, please keep performing for me, even though you're completely soaked. It just yeah. doesn't make that much sense, mm -hmm. right? So sometimes a little trick to do is just You've got the dirt off now, re-dip your towel. And again, we would never really do this in a, in a full-on scenario. Yeah. But a little trick to do is use this same wet towel to kind of eliminate the most excess. of the moisture, mm -hmm. right? And again, depending on where you're at, sometimes I wouldn't have to do that. If it was 105 outside, mm -hmm. the weather would be eliminating that moisture for me. But in okay. a cold environment, it's, you know, you're cleaning your car in a cold garage or something like that, this is how you can do it. So if you want to come in on this, and I'll just show you, it's able to remove that type of dirt and then go to a streak-free finish on glass and leave three months of ceramic coating behind just by using the waterless wash in a bucket. Okay. So dry this off. And as you can see, my towel is gliding across the glass. It's not draggy. It's not giving me any resistance at all. I'm just able to freely move the towel around. And then it dries to shrink free gas. So it goes okay. from, from that to that just by using the chemical in a bucket. But it's all about procedure and technique. Yes. So mm -hmm. what I don't want is people to think like, oh, that's super difficult. It's not super difficult. Again, we would not do a vehicle that's this dirty. If you had some light dust on your car because you drove it once and took your wife out to dinner and just want to tidy up your vehicle real quick, you're talking 10 minutes to wipe your entire car down. Gotcha. Right? Yeah. This is my preferred way to use it. I'm not a, a huge fan of like, pull the bottle out, put the bottle back, pull the bottle out, spray, 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 pull the bottle. I, I'm yeah. always about efficiency on every single thing that we do. Okay. So some people hate using a bucket and they just like to spray. That's just their style and that's totally fine too. Yeah. You know? So, but if you're talking efficiency or you've got multiple cars to clean, 
I prefer to use the bucket method for me. It's just so much faster. And then I can just switch to my finishing towel, get the entire thing dried off. Paint's good. Windows are good. Everything's done. And I'm, I'm, I'm done in about five minutes. So, so yeah. that's just the capability of what you can do. And now this glass actually has SiO2 protection on it. And it's perfectly streak free. And it'll do that in a building, outside a building, however you want to use it. Hot, cold, it will still come out streak free like that. Okay. So yeah. that's good. Good to know because like sometimes, you know, we run into those situations where we want to keep our vehicle clean right. and we don't have access, you know, to something like this. Right, right. But yeah. obviously if you guys are close around here, you know, just come to the base. Right. You guys will be able to right. take care of right. that. Exactly. But you know, right. like when they, whenever we are in a, in an apartment, you know, like yeah. we maybe have access Anything, to even a if, bit. Even yeah. if you have a full on setup in your garage, mm -hmm. right? Does it make sense for a car that you drove a couple times that's lightly dusty does it make sense to break out your hose break out your pressure washer break out all your drying towels break out everything that you need to air compress all the nooks and crannies clean like to do a proper proper wash your two buckets fill up your soap foam can and all these no. different does it make sense to do all that versus just wipe it down in five minutes and now especially if it's cold outside right. <laughs> I'd rather do it outside, inside yeah. my garage you right. know like in, right like so if I don't have a drain or whatever, you know, in my garage. So there's garage. been uh, a lot of events that I've done in like my detailing career where you just don't have access to water or where the car is, is inside a building up on a display. And how are you going to clean that vehicle? You can say, let me back my mobile detailing van right here. You know, it, it just doesn't work that way. So, yeah. so we've done some Cadillac events and things in my detailing career to where there was a full on stage, a bunch of chairs for the people that were attending the event and two Cadillacs parked like this with lights pointed at them and every day we had to clean those it's mm -hmm. not possible to do something like that without waterless wash yeah right so and the difference between the waterless wash and a quick detailer is a thing called encapsulation right so this is what makes people might say what's why is waterless wash different why do i need that i already have a quick detailer so waterless wash you'll find has technology in it that is called encapsulation right okay. yeah and encapsulation is the process of surrounding the debris with chemical suspending it in the chemical so it's just kind of floating there and when the microfiber comes built inside here and everybody knows microfiber now but these yeah. just thousands and thousands of little fibers right well as these are rolling across the paint they take that suspended encapsulated debris tuck it and roll it up into the towel and they bury it inside the pockets of the microfiber mm -hmm. and so when you have encapsulation built into a product that would make it more like a waterless wash when you have a product that just gets the dirt wet but doesn't necessarily encapsulate and lift, that would be more like a quick detailer that doesn't have encapsulation built into it. So depending on what category you're trying to use, the general term is for quick detailers. Those are used to add some shine, add some slickness, maybe fix a couple dribbles, but your car's pretty much already clean. Waterless wash is actually trying to do the job of the cleaning and adding the protection. So two separate things in case there's any confusion over that. Oh, so right. a lot of times if you reach for a detailer and the car's dirty, that's probably not the proper product for that type of application. So. All right. So just oh, see. apply it evenly. Oh, okay. And then what you want to look for is like you want to see the size of the droplets actually changing. And then on different colored cars, you can actually see the droplets there. They change color. Okay. So they'll go from colorless to whether well, they'll actually go on there and they'll pick up and encapsulate the dirt. Oh, it's going to be kind of hard to see oh, on a red vehicle, but I'm you should see a little bit of brown uh, inside the water right drop, there. and they'll fatten up on you a little bit. This is the first time I see that. <laughs> yeah. So that's the encapsulation in the product. It's trying to pick up the dirt that's on the paint and lift it up. So you'll see them, see them kind of fattening up. You can almost see them move just a little bit. And as they're picking up the dirt, that's going to allow us to come in and remove the dirt so you won't even see me put a lot of pressure down. Mm -hmm. These are definitely getting a lot larger than they were. So, but you won't even really need to put a lot of pressure down because the dirt itself is now suspended inside that chemical, right? Got it. So even if I was to take the towel and just kind of simply just no pressure down, but just kind of simply drag across, you can see the chemical is trying to clean the surface but I never even put any pressure down. This That's just right, kind of yeah. shows that the encapsulation really truly is lifting it up and then you get dirt. Without pressure. Yeah, there you go. 
That's interesting. So if it was not encapsulating, I would just be smearing around dirt, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so that's kind of a telltale sign that the chemical itself is actually trying to lift and that just up. just there, you can already right. see the di big difference, you know, without even putting pressure. Like, that's, yeah, right. I like so, it. I get it. I get so it. another thing I, I want you to look at, like if you can see in the camera again, is the marring that's in the paint on this side over here that we yeah. haven't touched yet. Like if you can look into the lights and see how swirly is it, yeah. how many scratches are really in the paint. Okay, so now I've removed this side, so I'll, I'll put a little bit more, because normally I wouldn't just drag the towel, I would do my full on yeah. deal of getting the car clean because I'm trying to make money or I'm, I, my time is worth money, you know, I don't have all day to be wiping my car down. Yeah. So look there, and then once this has been completely removed, you guys tell me, even at this level of dirt, is there a lot more scratches in this side of the paint now that I've waterless washed it? using encapsulation technology, is there a drastic, drastic amount of scratches over here on this side, or do they pretty much match what's over there on that side? Yeah. I can see, you know, like that. They pretty much look even, right? Yeah, yeah. So is waterless wash perfect? No, it's not perfect, right? But does it have a place in your toolbox, right? So think about your toolbox at home. You've got a crescent wrench, you've got all the uh, pipe wrench, you've got specific sizes, 11 millimeters, 10 millimeters, you've got yeah. all these different things, right? And every tool has its job, right? Sometimes there's a place in your detailing arsenal for this particular tool. And sometimes there's a place for this tool to do a particular type of job. And that's all there really is to, to be truthful and honest about waterless washers is they do have a time and they do have a place. Is it on a vehicle that's this dirty? No, but understand it's gonna be a lot more gentle on your vehicle than taking it through a, a car wash right. with brushes, right? And that's just gonna go completely ham on scratching your vehicle. And there is nobody to sit there and be gentle. That's just the machine getting the car clean, you know what I mean? So is, is waterless wash perfect? No, but it's a lot better than maybe taking your car to a, a tunnel car wash like that right. because you have no control over how that vehicle's gonna come right. out. I'd rather so, do this all day long right, than exactly. <laughs> taking so it, you know. So that's pretty much like a little bit about the capability of it on top of the fact it really does leave SiO2 protection. It's not just going to clean it. If we were to wash this tomorrow morning after the SiO2 cures, it would absolutely be water. You could tell me, hey, I had my car ceramic coated yesterday and right. I would believe you, right? right? And that's how much protection it really does have into it. So this is a mixture between a normal waterless wash and more like a ceramic boost type of product, mm -hmm. like a six month sealant. It's the same family of protection that's inside the waterless wash. So pretty much the same results as if you were to wash the car and then hit it with a six month ceramic sealant. We have one that's called Ceramic Boost. Mm -hmm. Same type of protection, just less of it because there's other things in the bottle like encapsulation and you know gloss enhancers and all these different things to lift the dirt off and make it a waterless wash also. So there's a little less protection in it than a straight ceramic boost, but it's the same type. It's the same family of protection. Oh, right. So. So just like these products, uh, or this product, you guys have like a full line of products? Yeah, uh, yeah we have 23 yeah. at the moment. 23. We have 23. Um, we have two new chemicals coming out within the next month. But at the moment, we have 23 chemicals. We have five ceramic coatings, one year, two year, five year, seven year, and nine year. Okay. Um, seven and nine year for our pro installers only. So they've taken a certification class and been uh, trained on advanced paint correction, damp sanding the installation and removal of the seven and nine year coating. So there is an installer network that can install a Vero seven and nine year coating. As far as regular chemicals go, we've got soaps, we've got uh, maintenance regimens for ceramic coatings. We've got a really popular interior detailer that has protection built into it, matte finish, cleans touch screens, plastics, piano black plastic, leather, vinyl, Alcantara. It's a really gentle, really safe interior cleaner that really, really smells good. So there's all kinds of products that are out there. Um, in regards to this, again, when do you use it? Limited access to water, it's your only choice. The car's not that dirty. You're in a controlled environment and the car's barely even dirty. Um, you just drove the vehicle one time and it just needs a light little wipe down. You don't really wanna break everything out and do the full on wash again. So there's a lot of times when you would use this, we just ask, use your best judgment, you know? We just did a test on a really, really dirty hood that shows it doesn't really scratch the vehicle. They look the same. But if you're that crazy enthusiast car guy that wants his car perfect, you need to do your traditional two bucket wash method. 
If you want something that's going to help assist in getting the dust off the vehicle lightly and then not adding a ton of marring to it, then that would be a good solution for you to, to keep something like this in your arsenal, right? Very so nice. for the detailers out there, this literally is like a Swiss Army knife of detailing. It does so much. It, it adds protection. It adds slickness and gloss. It encapsulates. It's a drying aid. It cleans up little dribbles out of the wheels, any little touch-ups that you need to make. It is great at removing bugs. Like you, you went on a car rally, the car is pretty much clean, but it's covered in bugs in the front. It dissolves the bugs and removes them in seconds. It cleans windows. It does all these different things. So it really, truly can be like, oh, I got to clean door jams. Are the door jams a little bit dusty and dirty? Should you hit them with a quick detailer or should you hit them with a waterless wash? Water should you mar up your customer's door yeah. jams or should you do everything you can? We're not gonna pressure wash the door jam and wash it with a mitt and dry it out. Water's gonna go everywhere, right? Yeah. So what type of product should you be using there? Do you wanna wipe your engine bay down real quick? So um, the last thing really to touch on is like the, dif the different uses. Um, we can use it at 50-50 to clean the body, mm -hmm. right? We can use it at one ounce to every one gallon in the bucket to, if you want to do the bucket method. Wipe the car down when it's the proper time to dry it, meaning that it's not completely soaked, right? Okay. So you're either going to re-dry it off again a little bit just to leave a little residual behind, or you're going to, if the car's clean enough, you would never put that much water. If it was lightly dusty, I would wring that towel out, give it a quick wipe, take a drying towel and just dry it off and final finish mm -hmm. it out, right? And then the third way, which is super popular, and I don't know anybody that likes windows, I mean, Nobody <laughs> likes clean windows, right? Yeah. Um, unless you're just extremely strange, but 90% water, 10% chemical. It doesn't matter how hot it is outside. It will do windows perfectly street free. Mm -hmm. With a proper towel and proper technique, right? Which is a whole nother deal for a whole nother video, but you can use it. The towel will glide instead of getting stuck. Mm -hmm. You can flip your towel over and polish it out and you can get perfect streak-free windows even in direct sunlight. So there's some videos on our Instagram about that where okay. we post. You can see the ball of the sun in the glass. You can tell it's a hot summer day. We missed waterless wash on, diluted 90% water, 10% mm -hmm. chemical, wipe it down, flip the towel over, polish it out, zero streaks at all. Most importantly, the towel glides across mm -hmm. the glass. So we're kind of in control of what's going on. Not the glass being so hot and so porous that we put a towel on it and it's just, then it just gets stuck, it's right? Stuck, yeah. So when it gets stuck, then most people force it, pulls all kinds of lint out of your towel. Yeah. The windows come out streaky anyway. It is just a pain, right? So super, super important that people pick up on that. If you're having glass cleaning problems, this is a solution to cleaning glass, even in direct sunlight, even in 100, 115 degree weather. Nice. Yep. Awesome, guys. So there is Biros. Where we can find you? Uh, you can find us on carsuppliesWarehouse.com under Viros, or you can find us on Viroscarcare.com. And if you guys want to use Roldo 10 in Car Supplies Warehouse, you guys will be saving 10%. And as well, you guys are going to be helping me out. So, yeah. Sounds and that's good, Viros. Yeah. And means? Yeah. What it means, Viros? Uh, Viros means upfront, truthful, and honest. There you go. Yep. There you guys have it. So, thank you, buddy. Okay, thank really you, buddy. Appreciate, appreciate you. you. Thank you so All much. Right. Take care. <laughs> Take care, guys. Like, share, subscribe. I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care.